Our strong military community here in San Diego is watching these developments very closely, as you can imagine. So this is a tragedy that hits especially close to home for the service members who serve here as well as their families. News 8's Chris Grove live at Camp Pendleton now with more on that part of the story. Good morning, Chris. And look, pain and anguish, that's going to be felt all over the country after the loss of these service members, but especially here at Camp Pendleton, where again, we have Marines from Camp Pendleton that are in Kabul. We don't know if they're amongst those that were killed in this attack. The names of that, those that were killed have not been released yet by the military, but we do know that the community surrounding Camp Pendleton across San Diego County are pouring in their tributes right now. I feel for their families. It could have been my nephew. Our Marines know that they're going to continue to be at risk. And that woman you just heard from there is Zoro Richard. Her nephew just retired from the Marines after 20 years. She wanted to pay respects to the lives lost yesterday after that suicide bomb attack in Kabul. Now, you also heard there with Congressman Daryl Issa, but we also heard statements from some of the other uh, Congress uh, congressmen and women here from across San Diego County. Congressman Scott Peters said that the attack was, quote, devastating and the deaths of the service members, quote, senseless. Congresswoman Jacobs added that, quote, we must resist the urge to let our pain dictate our policy. But we did speak at length with Congressman Issa. He pointed out that as the U.S. continues to pull the military out of Afghanistan, intelligence had indicated an attack like this was likely and another still likely. He also believes it's only a matter of time before we learn that the heroes we lost yesterday have ties to San Diego County from either Camp Pendleton or MCRD San Diego. There will be Marines who trained at MCRD. There will be Marines uh, who, uh, in fact, uh, came out of Pendleton at one point. And you can read more about what Congressman Peters or what Congresswoman Jacobs had to say about this attack by going to our website, cbs8.com, and clicking on that story link.